Hi, welcome to Hands-On with Force Effect and Force Effect Motion. In this series, we're working to understand how linkages behave. And in this part specifically, you're going to have a chance to create a mousetrap soda popper. Essentially a machine that will remove the top off of a soda pop bottle. Let's get started. To begin, we need to launch Force Effect Motion. Once the application is open, we can tap on the screen to create a new diagram. Now using what we've learned in the previous videos, we'll go ahead and import a background from our photo album. And we'll use this mouse trap and soda pop bottle as a framework to create our mechanism. Now we've gone through how to create some of these mechanisms, so I'm going to quickly begin sketching in some items that we will use to create this mechanism. I'm going to start with the mouse trap arm. The reason for this is I know its exact dimension. So if I draw that in and create that element, you'll notice that it says it's 16 inches long. We know that's not the case, so I'm going to go to my selection tool, tap on the element, and then tap on the dimension. I know that our mouse trap arm is actually 2 inches long, so I'm going to enter 2 and hit done, and you'll notice the dimension is updated. By doing this, force effect motion will scale the remaining elements that we draw based on that dimension. So I'm going to return to our element tool and I'll begin sketching in a basic framework for our mechanism. So I'm creating a base here and I'm going to go ahead and ground that item. I'm going to tap on element D to ground uh, several of the elements we've created. To connect the remaining element, we'll simply weld the intersection by tapping and holding on it on the screen and selecting welded pen joint. We now have a base framework for creating our mechanism. Next, we need a lever that can actually pull the top of the pop bottle off. And I'll sketch that by returning to the elements item. I'll draw a straight line out to somewhere near the mousetrap. And then I'm going to zoom in on the top of our pop bottle because we need a piece of equipment that will grab the top of the pop bottle in order to open it. I can simply draw in a couple small elements that will be used to remove the top of the pop bottle. I can then weld those joints because I want those to be rigid. And if I hit the fit to window button, we can zoom back out and see our entire design. If you go to the kinematic motion testing tool, we can actually grab components and test what their motion looks like. This looks like it would work, so we'll go ahead and hit undo to return everything to its original position, and we can move on. The next thing we need is an element that connects the mouse trap arm to our new lever. And the final component we need is a spring or a rotary actuator that will represent the motion of the spring on the mouse trap. And we can do this by selecting the actuators menu, which exposes two different types of motion. We have rotary motion and linear motion. In this case, we need rotary motion, which is already selected. We'll tap on our screen at point A to create a rotary actuator. Now, there's a couple of things that look a little wrong. Right now, the arrow is pointing in a direction that would make this spring fire in the wrong direction. So if we tap and hold on that, we have a few options to adjust our rotary actuator. First, we're going to start by changing the direction. We can then hit play to see if it's moving in the right way, and it is in this case. So I'm going to hit stop to return it to its default position. The next thing we need to do is adjust the angle at which the mouse trap will fire. We don't really want it to go all the way around, so in this case we're going to tap and hold, but this time we're going to change the rotation angle. By tapping on that, I can enter 45 degrees as an angle we want to set. And you'll notice the rotary actuator now represents a 45 degree angle from its default home position. And if we hit play, you can see that the motion works as I would expect. We can go ahead and hit stop here. At this point, we have a mechanism that we believe will work to open this pop bottle. To actually open the pop bottle, you need to apply about five pounds of force to the top of the soda pop bottle. We can test this in force effect, but before we do that, let me go back to my gallery and show a little more advanced version of this opener. The one I drew here is quite simple. 
Well, I have created another version that shows a little more complexity. It's up to you what your design actually looks like. It could be very simple or very complex or somewhere in between. Now take the moment to go ahead and try to create your own mechanism to open the pot bottle.